It was standing room only at today's ceremonial swearing in of Dover, New Jersey's first female and African American mayor. There were dignitaries such as New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy, former New Jersey Governor Dick Cody, Congressman Tom Malinowski, Senator Bucco, among many others. Of the office of of the office of mayor mayor of the town of Dover of the town of Dover according to your ability according, according to, to the best my, of your ability according to the best of my ability. So the answer is yes. 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 <laughs> Congratulations. That's it. After a hotly contested election season, many businesses sponsored the event and attendees included local clergy, community leaders, and residents well, from Dover and neighboring towns county, that still consider Dover a home Dover away from ways home. That we, can. we pray especially for Mayor Blackman and her leadership as mayor of this town. We celebrate your choice of her to lead in this season. We thank you for the hands we're holding, and we believe by faith this is a blessed country. We pray like Jeremiah taught us, seek the welfare of the city, and in it we will receive our own blessings. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. When I started to observe this race in Dover, it was at the last minute when Governor Cody called me. I did not realize you had a race up here with all that's going on in New Jersey. And I'm going to be honest with you, I did not like the ugliness of it. But I also know that being in the state senate for the last 34 years, that we're going to have differences in government. And I also understand what happens in political fights when people are seeking office and how desperate some folk are to retain titles more than anything else. And so I just want to commend the township of Dover for their wisdom and staying together and seeing beyond all of that and electing this team you have up here. I certainly You will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, and that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same and to the governments established in the United States and in this state under the authority of the people. So help you God. I do. Further, solemnly swear you will impartially and justly perform all the duties of the office of alderman in the town of Denover according to the best of your ability. I do. Congratulations, alderman. Thank you, Governor. established in the United States and in this state under the authority of the people so help you God. I will. Do you further solemnly swear that you will impartially and justly perform all of the duties of the office of alderman of the town of Donor of Dover according to the best of your ability? I will. Congratulations. Do you further solemnly swear that you will impartially and justly perform all the duties of the office of alderman of the town of Dover according to the best of your ability. You say? Yes. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. the folks up here with the governor and me, it's, it, it speaks to the fact that New Jersey is increasingly the most diverse state in the United States. And we wear that as a badge of honor. That is a source of not just great pride, but it's a source of our overwhelming strength. It also gives us an enormous responsibility. Uh, and as we've seen in the tragedy in Jersey City on December 10th, the challenges that we face in the variety of our communities, uh, it's up to leadership, and that begins with me, to make sure that that diversity is not just a source of strength uh, and a source of great pride, uh, but that we have a great added responsibility to make sure that we're not just the most diverse state in the nation in words, but in action, uh, that we're all in this together, that we rise and, and, and fall as one 
uh, Jersey family, uh, and uh, and we should be enormously proud of that reality. Thank you, Dover. There are three words I want to say before anything else. Because of your change coming to our town, I can't say it too many times. Thank you. Thank you, Dover. Muchas gracias, Dover. Thank you. Hey. And here is the state of the town. The cornerstones of this board and my mayorship are dignity and respect. Yes. The pillars of this board and my mayorship are honesty, integrity, openness, and transparency. The foundations of this board and my administration is strong. The board is committed to these values, and so are our volunteers, employees, and professionals. A structure so built should continue to grow and withstand the challenges brought upon it. As a community, we stand to construct this government of the people, by the people, and for the people. I want to shout out to my friend Scott Salmon, um, who fought to make sure that the right of every citizen of Dover to vote was respected. And that made a difference. This is, this is a unique and beautiful community in our great state, because it represents the promise of America. The promise that this country is for everyone, no matter what you look like, wherever you come from, what language you spoke when you were born, how you worship God. This country is for everyone who is willing to work hard and to play by the rules and to pledge allegiance to the Constitution of the United States. That's what, that's what makes it so beautiful. But we know that that idea of America right now, that idea is under strain, it's under attack. Not everybody agrees with us. That our, our very democracy right now is under strain. The governor said that this, these are fraught times. These are anxious times. And, and I just want to stress this, that, that our enemy in these dangerous times, it's not some politician that you may disagree with. It's not the political party that you don't belong to, whichever party you're a member of. Our enemy is people giving up. Our enemy is people deciding their voice, their vote doesn't make a difference. It doesn't matter if I come out and run for office. It doesn't matter if I vote for a candidate. Nothing is going to change. And what happened here in Dover is that people discovered, people discovered their power. They discovered that their voice, their vote truly did matter. And I want to thank you. Anything is possible. I always like to make sure that we remind our young people, anywhere you want to go is attainable. I have my son here as a young man. I raised four boys in my lifetime, and I want to show them the power that a strong woman can have um, with the right people at her side. And I believe that the town of Dover are the right people at Carolyn's side at this moment. So thank you, welcome, and all the luck in the world. Thank you. We're here to wish them major success, and uh, also to recognize that you're here to serve the public. So thank you for stepping up to do that. Thank you for bringing us into this new year, and thank you all for showing up, and may together uh, you all lead Dover into the direction that you have here, and that you remember why you're here to serve. Thank you. In our Board of Education, in our Board of Aldermen, in our uh, Office of the Freeholder, um, in the Senate, in the Congress, both at the state level and at uh, the federal level, and in the Office of the Presidency, must remember that it is our voice and our power. Uh, you are all elected to represent us and serve us, um, but if we don't show up in these numbers every time, uh, you get to do whatever you want. Power and greed corrupts. 
and I know that with prayer and support, you will be shielded from that. Um, but just in case, we will be here to ensure that you are shielded from that.